Hello and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. Or as it's known in these more woke times, the beautiful, big-boned, celebrating its curves quiz of the decade. <laughs> Funny, exciting and beloved by the nation. But enough about me, let's meet the teams. <laughs> She's a talented, charismatic, universally loved TV star and he's, I assume, her dad. It's Stacey Solomon and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> <laughs> he hosts a show full of current affairs, she hosts a show full of marital affairs. Oh. It's Nish Kumar and Claudia Winkleman. <laughs> and between them, they are respectively the funniest thing to come out of Birmingham and the funniest thing to come out of the dentist's office. It's Joe Lice and Alan Carr. <laughs> My wife alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hit him. Joe, hit him. Punch him. <laughs> you... uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, we've really connected. <laughs> 1960s NASA researcher Margaret Howell Lovett entered into an intimate relationship with a co worker named Peter. She was trying to teach him English. Why was it controversial? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's have some answers, okay? I asked you what was controversial about NASA scientist Margaret Howell Lovett's intimate relationship with a co-worker. Uh, big nasty in Catherine, I'm interested in your answer. Why did you think her relationship with the co-worker was controversial? Well, he's a black man. <laughs> I'm going to say no. <laughs> uh, you put uh, David Frank? Peter was a dolphin, is that right? Are they put yes, but we put dolphin, but it was, wasn't the fact so much that he was a dolphin as the nature of their relationship. And what have you written there? I didn't think at any point in my life I'd be writing on a little screen and Sandy Toxer would lean in and say, put in brackets, hand jobs. <laughs> well, she was absolutely bloody right to take a look. Oh, no. But as Peter's urges grew more frequent, the process of transporting him down to the two female dolphins to satisfy him proved disruptive. And Margaret felt the best way of focusing his mind back on the lessons was to relieve his desires herself manually. It was just easier to incorporate that and, and let it happen. It was very uh, precious. It was very gentle. Uh, Peter was right there. He knew that I was right there. Again, it was sexual on his part. It was not sexual on mine. Sensuous, perhaps. It would just become part of what was going on, like an itch. Just get rid of that. We'll scratch it, and we'll be done. Move on. And, and that's really all. It was. <laughs> I was there to get to know Peter. That was part of Peter. Well, yeah. I was about to say it was a different time, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, I mean you're probably wondering what, um, what wanking off a dolphin's got to do with NASA. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, what are you two doing? We're celebrating that we got hand jobs <laughs> into, <laughs> into a show. <laughs> it's okay. Do you want one? If you bought a hamper? Yeah, I've got a picnic. Woo! <laughs> Just a couple of basic pictures. <laughs> See? Cheers, darling. Well done. Cheers. Can I just ask? So, I, I, that is great, but mm. are they going to get more points for hand jobs? Because we did say mm. Peter oh, no, was a you're, dolphin. You, you get a point, you get a point. Yeah, you're all absolutely Surely right. Surely we get no. more points no, for no, the actual nature of the relationship. Why, no, because the question was, what, why was it controversial? It was with the dolphin. OK, you let's know, have the next dolphins question. Are, dolphins do apparently assault humans. Uh, have they got no... What if their cock look like? I'm what does their cock look like? Uh, yeah. But when you think of flipper, you don't think him with a cock, do you? You think of flipper. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, he is a mammal, though. Did you, what are you opening? Yeah, what's We're going on? Oh, pie. <laughs> do you want some? Um, I'm probably all right, cos I'm sort of right in the middle of work, but... <laughs> do you want some? Yeah, want pork some. pie? Yeah, I'd love some. Pork? Yes, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, how's your decade been? I've got a picture of you ten years ago, Jonathan. So Let's have can... a look. Yeah, is this, this, is, this is how you looked ten years ago. Wow! Oh. You look like Lauren okay. Llewellyn's Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so let's have a look. Uh, so, Stacey, ten years ago? I mean, no. Oh, oh, I don't look at that. that. I've got a picture of Claudia ten years ago. Now, I mean... <laughs> looks the same. It's, it's, orange. Exactly. it's exactly the same. I found a photo of me where I wasn't orange, but don't panic. <laughs> I was. Now, Nish, you do not look like the same <laughs> human. <laughs> you can see the decade on my face. <laughs> here's Alan, here's you, oh, here's no, you ten years ago. Oh. Oh. And that's when you were working as a Basil Brush tribute act? 
<laughs> I would not feel embarrassed about that for one second no. because <laughs> Joe likes it ten years ago. Treat yourselves, everyone. Yeah! I think you're a very pretty little girl. <laughs> Can I do my quote from Harry Potter? Yes. Yeah, sure. Scared Potter. <laughs> He's the man. He's the man. Oh, very good. What news story from 2015 was this BBC news reporter gallantly trying to recreate by climbing through a hole? What did you put? Well, first of all, we thought maybe it was something to do with shades of grey. Or cheese. <laughs> Strong. Or, Strong. Or, or cheese. Yeah. Stacey was big on the cheese answer. <laughs> it really what did you looked think like it had a to... big stone cheese, didn't it? <laughs> so yeah, stone cheese. He yeah. yeah. did. <laughs> but no, we think we know the answer there is that is that he was demonstrating how the Hatton Garden robbers got in through the holes they drilled into the safe deposit box area. So we've got Hatton Absolutely the right answer. Thank you. you got it. Hot cheese is good though. Well, what have you, you've written Hatton Garden, Centre Ice, but what, was the, what have you written above it? We've written Jimmy Looks So Fit, and if you want to give us a point for that, that's up to you. <laughs> Extra point for them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, of course, the Hatton Garden heist. There were six men uh, burgled the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company. Uh, reportedly took £200 million worth of uh, jewellery. The thieves were nicknamed uh, Mr Ginger, Mr Strong, Mr Montana, the Gent, the Tall Man and the Old Man. <laughs> I think the old man is a bit confusing in that group. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like very old men. The one in the middle at the top looks like his neck has got legs. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Snap, Crackle and Pop first appeared in adverts for Rice Krispies in 1933, but in the 1950s, a fourth member was very briefly added to the group. Can you name him? pre <laughs> Carol asked you uh, what wedding tradition Queen Victoria started. What, what did you put? We thought it was maybe throwing rice. Like, well, apparently that's an old thing from the Middle Ages and it represents fertility. Mm. The, the rice actually represents the... <gasps> oh, you're joking. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you came and it was confetti. It'd be <laughs> marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you when clowns ejaculate, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Next, oh what 2013 scandal prompted a surge in sales of home meat grinders and mincers, mm. wiped 300 million from Tesco's market value, oh. and was described by David Cameron as a shocking story? That could have been our team name, Grinders and Mincers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Would you like to change it? Can we change? Yeah, yeah, grinders and mincers. No, lads, lads, lads. Grinders and mincers. No, it makes me sound a bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very masculine, actually. Are you sticking or switching? I think grinders and mincers is fine. Grinders and mincers. Can we change it? Grinders okay, grinders and mincers, and mincers is. <laughs> Wet as pussy. <laughs> That's the only way that should be pronounced. Yeah. Yeah, correct. All right, let's get some answers. The acronym SCUBA Laser Taser, what do they stand for? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Correct. Uh, light amplification by a stimulated emission of radiation. Correct. And uh, I think, I couldn't quite remember, Thomas A. Swift electric rifle. Perfect. Three for three. <laughs> OK, I showed you five pop star dolls and asked you who they were supposed to be. What did you put? Um, I was just watching that clip of Jon Snow, and I'm going to be honest, there's some confetti down here now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a clown just passed. Clown! <laughs> clown uh, rice! Okay. Clown's rice! <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, I asked you uh, what led to a surge in sales of meat grinders and mincers in 2013. What, what did you put, Alan, Joe? The horse... horse meat scandal. Horse meat scandal. It was a scandal. <laughs> yes. About horse meat. Oh, about horses and their meat. <laughs> Horse meat <laughs> scandal, James. Uh, what, what did you get, Jonathan, Stacey? Well, first of all, Stacey, just about horses. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, no, and then I drew a horse. A, of a two-headed horse. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is a scandal. Yeah, yeah, but then we put horses meat as well, uh, because it was, it was in lasagna, wasn't it? In, in lasagna? La lasagna? <laughs> oh, granddad! So it's not only... Oh, granddad! 
Dave, there's actually food. Lasagna. You can't pay it. <laughs> it's lasagna. Um, it's lasagna. Oh, you're not backing down on this. You're going it's, with it's lasagna. It's lasagna. Yeah. It is lasagna. <laughs> It doesn't matter because it wasn't in lasagna. lasagna. It yeah. wasn't in lasagna. Oh, it, it was is. in spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy and I don't want to play anymore because we've got out an indoor croquet set. Thank you. <laughs> in 1982, the Ubra Blanca became a national hero in Cuba. Fidel Castro claimed the Ubra Blanca showed the superiority of communism. All I want to know is, what is the Ubra Blanca? It sounds like a lovely white wine to me. <laughs> is now the right time to ask for a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it, yeah, a perfect time. Cool. You would like yeah, a blanket. Yeah, I'm a bit... Is it, are you got... Well, do you know what, Claudia, is it we... Oh, no! <laughs> how you know have you got what? a blanket on you? Can I just say, because you know how long the show is, we were going to slowly age. We thought it'd be funny, so me and, me and Joe got all things to age, and then seeing Jonathan now, how elderly he is, <laughs> we've sort of chickened out cos we feel like we're mocking him. <laughs> we've got a hearing aid. We've got a hearing aid. <laughs> Do you need... Um, do you we need didn't a... want to be cruel. <laughs> can, you, can you lend Claudia the blanket? Because... Do you want the blanket, seriously? <laughs> but, no, do you want it? No, 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 it's fine. Are you sure? I've wet myself. I'm really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are these blankets coming from? What, what is happening? They brought some blankets with them. <laughs> I've got a cloth cap. Do you want that? Absolutely. <laughs> OK, let's get back to the questions. <laughs> We can't play dress up halfway through the show. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. I didn't know whether it was the right time. It oh. turns out it was. Mm. I feel like I'm in Oliver. <laughs> if people are just tuning in, I've lost control. <laughs> <laughs> and you lost the vote. <laughs> OK, so I think you've all got the first one, so uh, uh, let's go to Sandy and Joe. Sunny and Cher. Sunny and Cher, yes, that is Sunny and Cher. Let's have a look at those side by side. It's a good Sunny. Mm. Yeah. The Sunny's mm. not bad at all. OK, so uh, the next one, Catherine Big Nasty, did you get the next one, the top right? The We're blonde? very confused about that creepy-looking doll. Uh, it? Is it the boy from Bross? Uh, Bross. I'm, I'm afraid you're, you're not right there. Uh, David Frank, who did you think it was? We thought it was we Matt. Thought it, we thought it might, but then I thought Matt Goss probably hasn't got a doll. Well, he might have done at the time, but he doesn't have one now. It's actually, and you'll, you'll kick yourself when you see it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> Sort no. of thrown and Keating. That doll does not look anything like whoever that man you said he was. <laughs> you don't know who Ronan Keating is? Ronan Which Keating, OK. One of the next one, OK, bottom left. It looks like my... <laughs> That's it. Time now for the final big fat question. Please welcome all the way from Madame Tussauds, London, the Commander-in-Chief, Donald Trump. Okay, make some drinks. <laughs> no, I will. So the first drink, we've got a little vodka, a little what is that? White rum. That's we rum. have tequila and gin, and a little triple sec. Right. A little lemon juice. Yeah, because you don't want it to be too alcoholic. No. Of <laughs> take all the edge off that lemon juice. Okay. Yeah. So Loads rum, it. gin, tequila, vodka, triple sec, lemon juice. And cola. <clears throat> yes. And that gives us our first cocktail. OK. I mean, that is... So write down what you think that might be. Write we... down that one. Right, OK, there's your okay, first one. Do all three. OK, so that's the first one. Hey, go. Oh, Lovely. Do you, want, do you want to try it? Joe, first. any interest? Yeah, always. Oh, right, perfect. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy. It's that good time of night. Yeah, that should be delicious. The next OK, one. so the next one. Lovely. The next one's going to have rum, <laughs> some lime, <laughs> a little mint, Touch of sugar. <laughs> Rum, lime, mint, sugar. Little soda water. Soda water. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a nightclub, baby. <laughs> hey, what's your name, good looking? <laughs> For our next question, it's over to uh, boy band Heartthrobs Boyzone. Oh. How are you, hey, Jimmy? Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy? It's great to be back on the road with our 25th anniversary tour. We got together way back in 1993. But can your teams remember? which worldwide 90s craze launched the very same year. Bringing us... Legs the Frog, Squeal of the Pig, Dig of the Crab, Chili the Polar Bear, and Splash the Whale. Life is a roller coaster. Let's <laughs> start to ride it. <laughs> 
OK, this, you, you are dressed so appropriately for the following question. Back in 2015, over one million people signed a petition that was delivered to the BBC in a tank. Supporters of the petition had written comments such as, the only guy on the box who knows what he's talking about and keeps everyone highly entertained, an arrogant ape who does not know his boundary of insolence, but we love him, and I don't want to have to subscribe to Amazon. <laughs> uh, what was the petition for? The other one. <laughs> I'm next to a puff. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's catching. <laughs> well, close your eyes and you're at a Magaluf sex party. <laughs> I'll take that. that looks all right. I asked you why <laughs> Gary Lineker presented Match of the Day in his pants. What did you all think? Midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd do it if Leicester won. Leicester won the Premier League and he said he'd do it on Match of the Day. Because it was such an implausible thing to happen. Because Leicester have historically not been very good at football. <laughs> and then on that particular year, Jimmy, they played ever so well and they won the league. And so he had to present the show in his pants. Joe, Joe, you've been hacked. <laughs> <laughs> OK, points all round. <laughs> he's written a... He's a silly boy, isn't he? He's quite a silly boy, isn't he? Silly boy, Richard Iwood. OK. You're a genius. She's a genius, but she didn't know about that fucking cow, though, no, did I... she? <laughs> <laughs> we lost you don't the know point. nothing about no Cuban cows. No. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so I asked you if you knew why Tristram Shapiro said he was mortified after a uh, mishap on Zoom. What did you get? I was talking about putting the toothpaste back in the... Tooth jar. What's tooth. The tooth jar. <laughs> the tooth jar. You know, What's the tooth jar. The paste the receptacle. Jar. What is it called? The tooth <laughs> jar. The paste <laughs> pack. What is it? The tube tube. The tube. 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 <laughs> this. You couldn't it's, think of the word tube. I couldn't tube. think of the word tube. The I had paste wow. rocket. I had this last year. I forgot for a brief moment, I was in a restaurant, I forgot what the concept of a child was. And a child walked past me and I was like, what the fuck is that tiny <laughs> And for a minute I didn't know what a child was. And, and yeah. I couldn't remember what tube is. What does that mean? What does it all mean, though? <laughs> hey, Big Duke. High five, Big Duke. Yay! Go and say hello to everyone. Go and say hello. Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! <laughs> hello. Oh, oh, you're adorable. Oh, no. Don't fall over. Oh, hi. It's... Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hi. Thank you, Pikachu. <laughs> Hey, My children you? are going to be so oh. good. Oh. So nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, you think okay, Joe. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Okay, have you got a question? Now, Pikachu doesn't say much, so I've got I've got the question around your neck. Is it Sandy Toxvig in there? <laughs> Sandy Toxvig, she's allergic to shellfish, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>